This is D, and Less Stressful Life, that's what's up. It seems to me that there is a movement afoot to remove manhood from the format of life. You have women who are trying to get men to sit like women as they complain about man spreading. And then a brother try to explain something. What's he accused of? Mansplaining. This feminizing of men has has gone on for a long time, as 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 early as the 70s. You look at the European American brothers dressing like women, um, with all the long. You you can't. Their hair look better than the females in some of their music videos. It's incredible. And then you look at our industry. Well, I should say our industry, the the dominant industry as far as rap. Now what do they have? They have all these guys who are being outed for being what? Homosexual, all involved in homosexual behavior. And think about this too. You have these rappers, you have these musicians. How many do you hear who sound, who have like deep voices? Listen to the popular ones, listen to the most current ones. They sound like females, high pitched voices. It's a pretty sad thing. The little boys have no idea what manhood is nowadays. They, they, they can't even figure out if it's even a value. But young man, I'm going to tell you right now, it is a value. Manhood has a place. Interestingly enough, there was a woman who wrote that there is a need for real men. And she wrote in this book entitled Education. Let me read to you the quote. The greatest one of the world is the want of men, men who will not be bought or sold, men who in their inmost souls are true and honest, men who do not fear to call sin by its right name, men whose conscience is as true to duty as the needle is to the pole, men who will stand for the right though the heavens fall. Young men, you are very much needed. I don't care what you might have been told. I don't care how you've been devalued. Guess what? If you're a man, you have a role and responsibility in the degeneracy of this day and age. And by the way, if you've been only acting like a male, but you are desirous of moving on up to manhood, it ain't too late. And don't despair as to what you need to do to show yourself to be a man. I'll share this with you real quick. But before I share this with you, let me say this to you. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and also tap the notification bell so that you can be informed of our next videos. Lastly, as far as our advertising goes, be sure to go to www.destressmethod.com for more resource information. Now let's get back to this video. Check this out, brother. There are a couple of things that you can do to show yourself a man. Number one, stop exposing yourself to the ratchetness that's out there. Remember the phrase garbage in, garbage out? The garbage you put in is going to come out. So stop putting the garbage in, and this includes the people in your life. If they ain't about manhood, then vaya con Dios, my brother. Vaya con Dios, my sister. No ill will against them or anything like that, but they just don't need to be in your life. And I don't care how pretty the sister is that you're with. If, she, if she's about all that ratchetness, then you need to let her go. Because she may be pretty, but if she's pretty and nasty... That just means she's a pretty nasty female. Another thing, don't think for one moment that you have to be like Dr. Huxtable or, or, or Bernie Mac or what's his name? John Cutter. Know who John Cutter is? Come on, my brother. You got to know who John Cutter is. Passenger 57, always bet on black. <laughs> you ain't got to be like them immediately. But you can you can you can you can work on up there slowly but surely. And the last thing I want you to remember, make sure that you keep motivational, motivational um, 
um, songs, motivational quotes, as well as motivational poems in your head. And by the way, you're lucky because I got a good one for you today. Don't worry, it ain't a song. I ain't going to tor torture you like that. But there was this poem, and this came from Dockers. You know, the pants company? There's something that they call the Dockers Manifesto. And the first time I read that, I was like, whoa. And I hope that after you hear this, you will say, whoa. And you will memorize it and keep it in your heart and keep it in your mind for a long time to come. I'm going to hit you with this, and then I'm going to let you go. The Dockers Manifesto. Once upon a time, men wore the pants and wore them well. Women rarely had to open doors, and little old ladies never crossed the street alone. Men took charge because that's what they did. But somewhere along the way, the world decided it no longer needed men. Disco by disco, latte by foamy non-fat latte, men were stripped of their khakis and left stranded on the road between boyhood and androgyny. But today, there are questions our genderless society has no answers for. The world sits idly by as cities crumble, children misbehave, and those little old ladies remain on one side of the street. For the first time since bad guys, we need heroes. We need grown-ups. We need men to put down the plastic fork, step away from the salad bar, and untie the world from the tracks of complacency. It's time to get your hands dirty. It's time to answer the call of manhood. It's time to wear the pants. In the comment section, share which set, which section or which line really jumped out at you. Um, and also, share what you do to establish or maintain your manhood. Well, that's all we got for now. This is D. And less stress for life. That's what's up. Peace.